okay hello guys welcome to my new changing impact video guys we all know shane having a rerun again and shane is a very good character so i'm gonna talk about everything related to shane what shane do about his kit about about her kit about her gameplay and about her build a total left to be built and uh yes so stay tuned till the end guys Okay, guys, Shane is a five-star cryo, five-star cryo pole arm character, and she's a tall female. Talking about her kit, her kit is totally support kit, not even a sub DPS or a main DPS. Total support kit. What she does? She buffs your cryo character. Yes, she's a cryo buffer in the game. She buffs your cryo character. Only cryo character. No, not not any other no as on any other elements only cryo element she buffs your cryo elements yes she buffs your cryo element uh, cryo characters cryo element and cryo characters attacks overall she only buffs your cryo character so how does she works in her elemental skill she gives a uh, tons amounts of damage bonus to your cryo character tons amount of damage bonus not not uh, you know limited you can see here my shane's talents are on like level 8 but uh, my shane is giving already giving 73% attack uh, 73% damage bonus on the basis of shane's current attack you can go and read here the damage dealt is increased based on shane's current attack so you have to build your shane on the basis of only attack percentage and attack in order to get maximum out of shen hey and in elemental burst shane gives res decrease cryo res decrease to the opponent in 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 short cryo damage bonus by 13% not that much but it's it's there it's something so in the elemental burst you getting the cryo res decreased opponent cryo res decreased and in elemental skill of shane you getting a loss of lot of damage bonus on the basis of shane's current attack and also guys one of the Sh shane's passive ability gives your active character 15% cryo damage bonus when you deploy shane's elemental burst so yes guys she's a pure shan pure cryo damage buffer cryo character buffer uh so now so guys now let's talk about the shan is built in this video i'm only going to talk about the f pure have to be built and i think f to be built going to be the going to be enough for shane you don't need any five star weapon or constellation error to get you know maximum out of shane shane is a very f to be friendly character and you can use shane on c0 she's so good I like personally like the model the character model of Shane is I think one of the best top 3 or top 2 character model in females female characters she looks damn damn good talking about the build build is so easy you only have to give attack percentage to Shane like only attack here you can see I have given 21% attack in sub strats also so you only have to find attack you can see here 21% attack here main strat attack here main strat attack here main strat attack only attack attack even I have given two piece attack set and two piece two piece attack percentage sets one is Shibinawa and second is gladiator you can give only only you have to give only attack percentage and boom your shane is ready your building shane is so easy literally so easy no need of uh, crit rate or crit damage yes you can give a little amount of energy recharge to get uh, you know shane is ult fast uh, in my opinion minimum of 150 energy recharge is required here because shane is elemental burst cost 80 so you need minimum of 150 energy recharge here uh, because you uh, you always gonna use gonna use shane with a cryo character so shane will work as a battery for a cryo character also and that cryo main dps character also works as a trip for shane it's a vice versa they both will will gonna be work for <laughs> their uh, synergies you can say that so 
even after that you need minimum of 150 energy for shen he so minimum of 150 energy is needed and minimum of 3000 attack is needed here if you can get maximum like you can get 3600 or even more that's gonna be again amazing the weapon is the best four star weapon for shen is gonna be the wave breaker fin wave breaker fin is damn good weapon for shen is 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 the best four star weapon for shen but there are many other options in the game like missive wins is also a one one option that you can give to your shen because it gives a loss of a loss of attack 500 and base attack and then 41 percent uh, attack percentage uh, percentage here and it's a f2 b weapon you this is a event exclusive weapon and we get this weapon for free no wishes nothing and the next weapon you can give to your shen again also a four star weapon it's a lithic spear and shen is also a liu character so you can get again more attack percentage from the passive ability from the weapons ability you can also get crit rate but that crit rate is going to be the useless on shane but yes you can get more attack from the passive ability if you pair your shane with ganyu you can get again more attack percentage from the weapons ability and this weapon having very high base attack and attack percentages in main stride and sub stride so lithic spear is also going to be the very very good option for shen he so guys weapons are the missive wind spare the wave breaker fin and the lithic spare these weapons are so good on shene i don't think beside these weapon any four star weapons are gonna be very that good on shene but these three weapons three weapons are very very good on shene you can use these three weapons uh these are very good and they are very easy to get weapons if you don't have this weapon right now you can you, you will have this these weapons in the future don't worry okay guys so now let's talk about the shanice constellation if you want to go to the uh, go for the constellation the c2 constellation going to be very very good c6 on c1 constellations are also very good you'll get one extra you spirit of the elemental skill can be used one more time so you will get two elemental skill that's very good you get like two elemental skill it's like uh, a shao and a sucrose kind of thing you get one extra elemental skill that's very very good and second uh, constellation it's also very good you will get extra increased 15 percent crit damage for cryo characters of course only for cryo related damage you will get extra 15 percent crit damage so that's going to be very very good if you can you can get to the c3 c3 just increases your elemental skill level by three percent the major buff she gives she gives in elemental skill give uh, on level eight already giving 73 percent damage bonus so if you get these two c3 you can get 13 level that's going to be very very insane so c3 constellation is going to be very very good but if you want to go for only one constellation you can go for one constellation that's going to be c1 c1 shane is very very good Okay guys, now let's talk about Shane's team and the working that in which team Shen is fit. Okay, so Shane is can be only usable with a cryo DPS character. If you are building your cryo DPS team, you have to use like Shane. If you have if you have Shane, you can use Shane. Like there is no mandatory thing to get Shane and use in a cryo DPS team. But if you have Shane, you can use Shane in a cryo DPS team so the two main cryo dps character in the game and the best cryo dps in the game is the ganyu and ayaka you can use this team also the team i am having shane ganyu kamisato ayaka and kazua we all know what kazua do kazua just buff buffs your elemental damage ganyu here to constantly apply cryo to the component with the help of the elemental burst and the main dp is going to be the ayaka here and shane just buffers yeah the cryo damage and then my ayaka can deal very high damage or you can build a separate team for ganyu in which you can include shane and kazua uh, both and same goes for ayaka you can uh, build a separate team for so ayaka also and in which traveler. team in that team you can use I'm shane and kazua the working of the uh, character is so simple first you have to 
use your elemental skill by holding the elemental skill button then go for the elemental burst and then switch to a cryo character and just deal damage the damage difference let's just see a damage difference of having shane and without shane if you deal damage with shane and without shane so let's go okay so for the protection i'm using uh of course so this is my ayaka uh without shane i'm not using shane so if i go and use elemental skill the damage is 27,000. Okay, if I do charge attack here, 9,000 is the damage. Okay, let's do elemental skill one more time. 31,000. 31,000. Okay, let's just use elemental skill one more time. Okay, charge attack. 10,000 gonna be the charge attack damage. 39,000 this time. Okay, why it's increasing? <laughs> okay. So let's just say 39,000 without Shane, without without Shane, like just no Shane. Okay. So now we use Shane and we'll see the difference. Okay, Shane's ult is not ready. Uh, boom. Bro, he's gonna die from the Zhongli heal. Okay, everyone's already ready. <laughs> now we use Shane Elemental Skill, Shane Burst, and now we use Boom. No, this is not the dial real coming. The charge attack I'm having, I'm having 24,000 in the charge attack. The max I can get without. Okay, 45,000. Like, just come back. Okay, so damage difference are around 10 to 15,000. I guess I can say like 15,000 is the damage difference if you use Shane and without Shane. Keep that in mind, guys. My Shane's levels are on level, uh, talents level are on level 8. If you get this to max, you can get around 20,000 or more than 20,000. Uh, that again depend on your build that right? how much attack percentage you are having on your Shane. So, in my opinion, the difference of the damages are the around in between of 15,000 to 20,000 you are getting 15,000 to 20,000 more crowd damage if you are using your Shane I think that's very very good before Shane I was hitting 30,000 with the uh, elemental skill and 10,000 with the charge attack but after Shane I am I was able to hit 25,000 with the charge attack and almost 45,000 to 46,000 with the elemental skill you can get of course the better damage with the, your build but the difference between using the uh, shane without using the shane i guess it's around to 10 15000 to 20000 on level 8 talents all the time the working is just uh, i showed you is the same first you have to use the elemental skill by holding the elemental skill then you have to deploy the elemental burst of shane then switch to your main DPS character and start dealing the cryo damage and if you are using any other buffer also use Shane at the last moment like uh, just take an example you are using Kazua or Mona let's just create a proper Shane team we'll use Ayaka as the main here we'll use Shane uh, here Okay, we'll use Kazua here and let's uh, just say we'll use uh, Mona here. Where's Mona? Okay, uh, let's just say this is going to be the team for uh, Shane. This team we have Shane, in this team we have Amisato Ayaka. This is also a Ayaka uh, team, one of the Ayaka's team. So, what we'll do first, we go to the Mona and deploy Mona's burst no 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 first we go to ayaka and apply a cryo damage to the opponent then we go switch to the kazua and do swirl we do burst if you can you can do again swirl then you do you switch to mona and you 
deploy Mona's bus, then you go to Shenhe, you do elemental skill, you do elemental bus, and switch to your main character and start dealing the damage. Boom, 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 or even deploy the bus better. So this is going. This is how you're going to be rotating with your Shenhe. I think that's going to be the best rotation I showed you. First, apply the cryo element to the opponent and switch to Kazuha. Do the swirl, all the swirl, deploy the elemental burst of Kazuha. Switch to your another character that's going to be either of the Bannet or going to be the Mona or any other character that you are using. Deploy their elemental skill and the burst. Then switch to Shenhe. First, do the elemental skill by holding the elemental skill. Then deploy the burst and then move switch to your main cryo dps character and start dealing the damage simple oh yeah guys that's it for the video it's a very simple video i just want to show you the difference difference going to be the 15000 to 20000 or even more minimum difference going to be the 15 to 20000 and difference depends on your build and how good you're going to build your shane only attack you have to give your shen is attack 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 percentage only attack so that's it for the video guys if you like the video you can hit the like button and you can subscribe to my channel for more generation related videos in the future guys we'll meet in the next video till then guys bye bye take care